Welcome back everybody. So we're getting back in the swing of things after not posting for a while from getting our house ready. So we're over here with none other, none other the confers and he, Mike is helping us out with the truck. We bribed him with <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's also letting me use, cause I didn't bring the GoPro and maybe it's not, maybe it's a good thing now cause I got a new phone. He's letting me use his uh, little uh, hand mount and microphone for his uh, but, iPhone. But channel to prove that he's not just on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry, he's going to be under the truck with me. Yeah. Long, so. yeah, 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 yeah. We, so everyone knows we tow with an undersized truck for our trailer. That's <laughs> not really, it's not, right to... not a secret. <laughs> so we are putting airbags on the truck because I think it is 100% necessary for our small truck. But we got the Firestone Ride Right kit. We're gonna see how this does. It had really good reviews. There was this, an airlift. This one had better reviews. So, and Mark and Trish from Keep Your Daydream used the same one on their F-150, remember? No. They had the Firestone Ride Ride Kit on there. So <laughs> I'm gonna get down here and actually do something. So let's see. So here's the kit. We've got these two bags and then the mounts that sits on top of the coil pack. So, and it's not a compressor driven system. It just has an air, air, uh, air valves that you put on the back of the truck. So, we're seeing if we can get the old stuff off. That's always the fun part. We gotta get this bump stop, bump, bump stop. We gotta get this bump stop off down here because it reuses the same mount. So, we'll see. I don't know how to get it off. That's what YouTube's for. I know, I was about to say, I may have to consult YouTube or Google. <laughs> All right, so we got the wheel off here and we're trying to get this bump stop off that's down here because it reuses the same mount, but um, it's being troublesome. So we're gonna consult the old YouTube, see if we can't figure out how to get that guy off. The bag sits in here in between the uh, axle and the frame bump stop mount. So, hi Carly, you helping? The wrench. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully this will take off some of the sag. I just noticed how flat this leaf spring is. And I was told to look behind me because maybe the maybe this one ton back here's leaf spring isn't so flat. <laughs> okay, so after a little bit of a photo investigation and me looking over here, I don't know if you can see this, right over there, you can see the other side and there's a hole back there. So there's actually a bolt that you can get to from there to drop it. So we're actually gonna let the axle drop down uh, just to give you a perspective of how flat the spring is. <laughs> so bad. Theoretically, <laughs> we're going to get that bolt out of it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to drop the axle down and put the put the jack stands up underneath the frame so we can get the axle to drop down to get some weight off of it. But we were a little concerned because it looked like in the picture this bracket wasn't here, but it's actually covering it from the back. So it sits on top of it. It uses it as a support. So, but we should be good. Okay, so we got the we got the actual bump stop off. It was, there's no nut on the top. At least there isn't on our side, it's welded. So, but you can see right here is where the original, right here is where the original bump stop went. And then right down there is where the, the bag is gonna sit. So there's actually a bolt hole up in here that you have to put a spacer in, at least on our kit. There's a spacer that goes up in here and it uses the original welded on lug up there to bolt into. So there's the original bump stop, obviously. I'm throwing stuff. And <laughs> no, this is part of the original the bump The part stop. of it's still in there because be in the it, it wouldn't come off. But we're gonna put that bracket on first. And then the bottom bracket, which holds the bags up there. Um, it's kind of funny, the, the top is held on by one bolt and the bottom is held on by two U-bolts. <laughs> and like four other bolts. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's not even. The bottom ain't going nowhere. No, the bottom won't go anywhere at all. The but top, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. One bolt, hey, it's a big bolt, but it's just one. So we got that bracket on there. You can see there's only one bolt. There's a big Allen key right there, holding it on there. But I mean, it seems secure enough. So now we're gonna put the uh, bottom plate on with the bag. All right, so we got the first one installed minus putting the air chuck in the back of it, but. Which we probably should have done before we Well, no, because then we couldn't have compressed it. Oh yeah, yeah, good point. But so we got the we got the first bag installed here and it's still obviously no air in it, but you can see how it's bolted here. It's it's held on the front 
by this U-bolt here. And then on the bottom, let me get a shot of it here. You can see the other bolt. Let's go this side, there you go. You can see the other bolt holding it on top of the coil pack or on top of the, sorry, on top of the axle. And it's just kind of hanging out in there. You leave most of this stuff here. The only thing you take off is the bump stop. So, but yeah, we're gonna get that air chuck in there. Oh, I mean, it's now this truck isn't that old, but it's not been too bad to install. There hasn't been anything that's super bad. So what are you into there, Chris? I'm I'm getting real up and close with this axle right now because we forgot to tighten the bolt on top of the airbag, and it turns out once you put that air chuck in there, it's coming out. Yeah. So if you, just, it looks like you guys are good friends. You and that axle. Me and this axle are great friends. All right. Note to self. No, it's right here. You see this? I don't know if you can see this right through here is what I'm working with. That bolt. <laughs> Oh man, it's almost there finally. Now, if you if you install a kit, put it on first. <laughs> and I promise, the tires are chalked, and there's two jack stands under there. The axle is not sitting on his leg. No. <laughs> All right, well, do yourself a favor and don't forget that nut, that nut on that bolt. But it took forever, but it's finally there. So. Yeah, it's finally in there. The air chuck's in there. The bag's installed on this side, so we're gonna put the tire back on and flip our jack stands, so good to go. See, the key is when you got the jack, counterbalance. Okay, but you up. didn't learn that by yourself. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we got this side basically finished up and we didn't forget that little uh, <laughs> that bolt up there this time. <laughs> <laughs> Although we did have to loosen it again because the heat shield was in the way. All right, we couldn't get the bolt down. There. But <laughs> I think, I think in the time it took us to do the other side, we could have installed two whole kits. But you live and you learn. So this side went on super easy. But we got it all installed. Airlines going on, and then we're gonna put some air in the bags and should be should be good. Just a little bit of cleanup work. So we got the bags installed. Big thanks to Mike for help. Look at this. He made me sweat my own sweat. He we, waited until the hottest week of the year <laughs> in Ohio to put airbags on his truck. It was like 90 something today. At least. But it, we got the bags on and the truck looks way, we gained like probably two inches. But I lost six pounds. <laughs> so. I think we gained like two inches of height on the back of the truck. But here, I'll turn it around and let you see. So you can see it's not squatting anymore. And we've got probably five or 600 pounds in the back of the truck with our e-bikes and stuff like that. Your but, wheel wheels are about even to the front now too. Yeah. Where, and your, lead, your coil or your leaf springs aren't They're flat. not flat. <laughs> they actually have a boat to them now. We only have 15 pounds in the bags right now, but that's plenty to drive around. I'll put it up like another 10 pounds or something before we tow. Yeah, and so, when, when you hook up your trailer, see what it sits I up. would just kind of raise it up as you go and kind of see how they look. But, <laughs> Carly, she loves that thing. She does, but yeah, big thanks. No problem. Thank you. No, so, no I'm not exactly mechanically inclined. I did help. I didn't just sit. I <laughs> am a jack of all trades, master of absolutely none. <laughs> with these in-depth instructions that you got with this kit, if anybody could do it. And they didn't even show you where the washers went. We had to figure that out for ourselves. Yeah, the, it, it's like... Hey, a, the heat shield wasn't in the pictures at all. all. <laughs> so if you've ever done a color by number, there's way more instructions with that than there were with yeah. this kit. <laughs> Nothing. But it seems like it's a solid kit, though. So It's good. Yeah. And nothing, there's no drilling either. It was just all strictly bolt on. There wasn't. And, and cut off. Yeah, and cut off. And cut the. You got to cut the bump stops off. <laughs> right. There's, there's no getting those things off. No. There, we so. tried to pry them off. It wasn't happening. Yeah. So, what did nice. they uh, Probably two and a half hours, three hours. It's 845. You got here at what? 530? 540. So, since we got started. Between all the BS and three hours. Hours. three yeah. hours, three hours, not bad, not bad at all. Bad at all. So it said one to four. We beat the right. We beat, we beat the, the top number. <laughs> well, to be hey, to be fair, I think the other side took us an hour and forty five minutes. This took a half an hour. Well, we had to figure out what all those pictures <laughs> meant. So, so yeah. hey, not it's bad. There, it's done. We're good to go. <laughs> we'll see how it toes now. <laughs>